my mic was muted on stream, so it should now work. And there should be sound now, too. Turn it up a little bit. So if you are not on Twitch, you will just hear my voice, which is fine. <laughs> um, and if you're on Twitch, you also hear the game audio. Someday I'll figure out how to uh, stream the game audio to the voice channel, but not today, not this day. Also, um, we welcome Krish, the developer of Plane. Very cool. I already saw uh, a glimpse of the new loading screen. Looks uh, pretty awesome. Very cool. Also, thank you for following Bax137 and Salt Queen Quartz. Um, thank you so much. And let's see. We can check in. We can see what's going on. This is, I don't know, what is it? The fourth week? Fourth week? Something like that. So, as you can see, the trees have grown. There weren't trees here at all when we started. I think there also was no grass. Fire was definitely not lit. And there were no birds. Burbs. There's a burb. Another burb. A few burbs. There he goes. And there were also no fireflies. Even though I think they just show up at night. Um, if you're new to the game, it's basically a, a game to help you meditate. And meditation may sound like a hard job, closing your eyes or opening them and not doing anything. And this game sort of makes it simple. Um, <clears throat> it gives you the tools visually and also in audio, you know, to, to get started. I think that's really cool. I love it. I think it's a great game. It has a great soundtrack, so I can recommend using headphones or in-ears. Those will definitely, that, that will definitely enhance your game experience and meditation experience. Um, there's this nice uh, cello going on. Where's the violin? Anyway, um, <laughs> the fox is always sitting there. Let's say hello then. Let's, well, I don't want to spoil anything. There's like a story to this game and you unlock parts of the story if you, you know, meditate every day, uh, but will not like go over the story because I, I want to keep that for anyone who is, you know, after seeing this, wants to play it. So we'll just go over how to meditate in plane. So it doesn't matter if you already practice meditation or not. Um, we can just go over how to do it in plane tonight and then you'll be up to date on how it works. Um, so let's just get into, yeah, so we use a technique of observing your uh, thoughts, which is what plane will teach you. The simple things sometimes reveal the most. When you watch for a thought to rise, that watchfulness is meditation. There are many levels to this method. Um, you will discover this as you continue your meditation practice. So the first thing we do is we anchor ourselves on the breath. Uh, and if you look on the screen when we will start, there's an expanding bubble. Uh, just breathe in when the bubble gets bigger and breathe out when the bubble gets small. And you don't have to follow the bubble. It's just there to guide you. And the next thing you do is you feel the physical sensation of the breath. So when you breathe in and when you breathe out, there is a physical sensation going on, but you might not always be aware of it. And with meditation, you'll notice that after time, it becomes very easy to become aware of physical sensations. You'll be an expert uh, in no time. And for this, we want to become aware of the physical sensation of the breath. So you feel the breath entering your body, through your nose, into your lungs, pushing down into your diaphragm, 
your abdomen. And then feel the breath leaving your body. So let's try that one time in. You notice that there's a lot going on when you breathe. From your nose to your lungs, your stomach. You can become aware of that. And that's what we do in this meditation. Uh, so here he's going, we're talking about the difference between thoughts and feelings. And you will notice thoughts rising. So it might be thoughts about the day, things you wanted to do, things you still want to do. You want to get back to your uh, Sims 4 game, or you know, you, you forgot to take your, uh, your daily walk and your character in Habitica might you know, get hurt. Um, that's fine. But for now, we can just, you know, let them go. You don't have to fight them. Just be aware that they rise. And when they rise, you tap your finger. Uh, so if you place your hands on your knees or you place them like into a sort of cup shape. I don't know if that's clear. That's how I do it. Like I put them in between my uh, legs in a cup shape. But wherever you place your hands for this meditation in plane, simply tap your finger. And if you tap it, um, that helps you actually. It helps you become aware of the thought and also return to the method because you create like a physical sensation. You create a, a um, you know, an action that also brings you back to the present moment. Uh, so here it talks about the space bar. I can use space bar or mouse. I will use my mouse. And if you have the game, uh, you can do that. But for now, we'll just tap our finger. So remember step one, Breathe and be aware of your breath. Step two, when a thought rises, tap your finger. You can close your eyes. Actually, I would definitely recommend it. I spend my first year or so, maybe longer even, opening my eyes uh, in meditation and while it can be helpful for a lot of things. I mean, it's really up to you. For me, it really helps to close my eyes. Um, if you get sleepy, definitely open your eyes because opening your eyes helps to not get sleepy. If you are not sleepy, I can recommend closing them because there, there are sometimes a lot of things going on around you. I mean, don't know if you all uh, clean your room or wherever you are. Um, I try to do it, but there's many moments where um, it's not, you know, as clean as it maybe looks now. <laughs> um, and then having your eyes half open sometimes distracts you too. So just notice, if you're sleepy, try to open them a little bit. And otherwise, just close them. Alright. Safira says, I get lost in my thoughts when I close my eyes. Mm. Yeah, good point. So... Exactly. That's that's something to watch out for, and it's something you might have to try out for yourself. For me now, closing my eyes works perfectly, and even though I get, you know, there's thoughts coming up, it's natural, and you do get distracted by them sometimes. Um, it's not like overwhelming, and opening your eyes can be helpful. Yeah, it, um, Ocean Garden says it depends on my state. I have to say that um, it also depends on what is in front of me. Like in this session, if I would open my eyes, maybe I would get distracted too much by things happening in the stream. But when I sit in front of a wall, which I sometimes do, or you know, you have a nice uh, stream. I mean, a real stream, like this stream. No way this one <laughs> I can imagine opening your eyes is very helpful um, it's up to you just do what feels right and stick to that for this session you can always change um, but it's good to you know pick 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 a pick something and stick to it 
Um, I didn't create a poll for today. I still have to look that up how to do that. I do believe we can create an external poll. Um, figuring that out right now is too much. So just let me know, where would you like to meditate today? Um, since we, most of us will close our eyes, it's all about the sound. So again, if you have headphones or in-ears, please use them because the sound is very helpful and it can help you become more present. So we can choose emptiness, campfire, plain, shoreline, or stream. These are all locations that we can choose and they have a little bit of a different sound to them. Besides that, we can choose the weather from a clear sky to wind, cloudy and windy, rain, rain and wind, and thunderstorm. So this one we unlocked. We unlocked, I think a few days ago. Um, and this one is new. So I mean, are you ready for that? Meditating in a thunderstorm, I don't know. I think it will be cool. So I see um, stream, people saying stream. And yeah, I agree at Jupiter. Let's, um, let's try the thunderstorm. So, um, I recommend before, you know, we dive into it to find yourself a comfortable place. So some, somewhere where you can sit down undistracted for 50 minutes. Oh, that sounds very surround. This is the reason why I recommend uh, headphones. And so, you know, try to loosen your muscles a little bit. Maybe you do a little massage on places where, you know, usually the stress for our generation is, which is around here and in your neck, as we sit you know, behind our computers or laptops. And just become aware of it. Now you loosen up, find a good, comfortable seat. You can lay down if you want. Um, you can sit down. I would recommend, you know, making sure your spine is at least rather straight, because a straight spine helps you to be more active. And I don't mean active in like you're gonna work out. But, it, you know, it sends a signal to your body to at least be um, aware, I suppose. <laughs> um, all right. If you're ready, I'm ready. So all that happens now is there will be a bubble on the screen. You can follow it to breathe in and breathe out. Become aware of the physical sensation of your breath. And tap your finger if a thought comes up. That way... I like that sound. That way... you... bring yourself back to the present moment. So for a second now... the sound will cut out because I will turn off the alert box which means that we won't hear when someone follows us. Uh, we're back. Yeah, I think the sound is very nice. All right, let's get into it. So, breathe in. Exhale. Use the bubble for guidance, but only if you want. Keep your awareness when you're breathing. Feel the breath in your body. And when a thought rises in your mind, tap your finger. Do not encourage any thoughts. Do not resist. Just watch them pass by. 
Let's close our eyes and we'll begin.
This is a point where you can share what happened in your meditation. Was it easy or hard? Were there a lot of thoughts, almost no thoughts? Feel free to share either in the Twitch chat, the Discord chat, or in the voice channel. Quickly have to see what is going on in the Discord chat. Thank you, Crisis. Also, thank you for joining us. Very cool. Safira says, that's the last time I meditate on an empty stomach. Yes, that is um, hard. That basically means every 20 seconds, <laughs> your stomach is telling you, I want to eat. And you're like, I want to eat. I want to eat. So, um, good job for making the whole 50 minutes with that. That's hard. Very, um, very persistent of you. Lizzie says, I think I found a method I can use when I am tired but still want to meditate. I put the massage balls at my upper back, shoulder weight between my back and a chair, and that actually helped to not get tired and I could even close my eyes. I also have a headache, but it was still fine. Nice. Yeah. Um, don't forget, even though a lot of people meditate and there are some very good teachers, you ultimately are your own teacher. So you have to find out what works for you and you can get a lot of helpful tips, but it's up to you. And if something doesn't work, you know, try it, give it a good try, and then move on. Check if something else works. And you know, if if something with um, you have something with your back, a lot of people maybe don't have. You can feel and you can know what works and what doesn't work and meditation is not some sort of um, it's not no school curriculum where you have to pass with a certain grade it's all about you and your mind and the introspection going on and if something is uncomfortable or something doesn't work for you just drop it seriously um, and you know don't don't give up too fast sometimes you, ha you have to you know, be a little bit persistent. It's like working out. Maybe after three times your muscles hurt, just take a rest, but then also, you know, pick it up again. Just don't force yourself. Crisis says, I did some mantra before this meditation, so it was easier to focus on the breath. Mantras can help. Um, affirmations can help. I, I think they're very helpful. Affirmations like, well, what is a good affirmation? It could be, I am grounded in the earth and whatever happens, I will find my center. That could be an affirmation. You can repeat that the whole day. You can write it somewhere down on your hand on the mirror every morning when you, you know, look in the mirror, you can see that affirmation. You can make different ones. There are, um, there are a lot of good ones existing. Uh, in the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, they also have this system called, oof, we have them here actually, uh, Lojong, uh, L-O-J-O-N-G. Those are also, you know, short sentences that you work with. Actually in Zen Buddhism, they use koans. As a way of you know focusing your mind on the present moment but also driving it forward to where you want to go and there's nothing wrong with wanting to go somewhere it's just about you know applying the right effort and the right energy 
don't burn yourself out. You know, if you want to learn to meditate, you'll learn to meditate. That can be your affirmation. I can meditate. I'm able to meditate. Why not? It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to talk about the universe. It can be very simple. And just, you know, repeat that. It can be like a mantra. Also, thank you for following uh, Rock It Up. Um, let's see. Jupiter Girl says, This time, only few thoughts had arise and fade faster than usual. I enjoy to be in the flow with the sounds. Sounds help. Like, they help a lot. We live in uh, houses and man-made buildings, which are made sometimes to, you know, keep out all sounds. I feel that um, there's nothing wrong with getting in, uh, in contact with nature, or in this video game with a virtual nature, even though it's real sounds. And, you know, why not? It's not cheating. I don't see it as uh, cheating. Just don't start to believe that you can only do it with the sounds. You know, just, um, I don't know. There are many ways to do it. And I don't believe you need anything to meditate. It's just helpful. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, also, thank you for following Sid Fallon. Very cool. So, Safira, you use the affirmation or mantra, be here now. Very nice one. Um, actually, uh, Ram Das wrote an incredible book called Be Here Now. And uh, Oasis also made an album. But that's something else with that name. It's a great, powerful mantra to repeat. And Rises, you, you started a conversation about mantras. Um, you can use that throughout the day. It, why, why not? If you, you feel throughout the day your mindfulness is fading, you know you're at work and you forget all about peace and calm and you're all getting into distress, uh, you can set alarms even, timers, with, with your mantra. Set them every hour, every two hours. And put on your affirmation there. And every time, you know, you put off your timer, you read it and it comes into your mind. And after a, after a time, it will become part of you. There's no difference between you and a mantra. And it becomes everything you live and breathe. So... Chris shares, um, a big part of playing was to create a powerful visual visualization of nature that people can instantly dive into and immerse themselves in. Absolutely, it, um, it's an incredible work. It works for me, and I think it works for everyone who played it uh, or is using it. And it's an early access, so, you know, uh, you can get it on Steam. I think it's like $8 or something. And it's incredible help. It's it's very cool also when you're a PC gamer. Um, but there's a mobile version coming out soon too. So keep your eye peeled on that. I'll definitely uh, we'll let you know when it's there. Uh, so Krish, who is the developer, says just need to find a time to put this in VR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I uh, I will try to help uh, find some time. I've been digging holes to find some time, but I have been unsuccessful finding it there. <laughs> um, is this game slated for release? No release date. Ah, so Chris is the developer, so he can answer that the best. VR, VR would be amazing. I agree. Let's look at our progress. So we've unlocked half, half of the things that we can unlock here. That means level one, wind. Level 2 Fireflies, Level 3 Rain, Level 4 Birds, and Level 5 Thunderstorms. And we are now working towards Aurora. So if you don't know what that is, that is also called the Northern Lights. It's this sort of green stuff. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, so don't, don't pay me on that. There's this beautiful green light that, uh, you know, especially in the polar, uh, the Arctic regions. So to say, if you say it like that, uh, happens there. It's like a natural phenomenon. So that means nine more days that in two weeks, we'll be able to meditate with that. Next week, we'll do it at the same time, same place on Twitch. We'll see how far our trees have grown. If you look up, 
you see, you know, the amount of uh, growth your trees had. I can't point it because it's moving with me. There's that thing at the top. And that shows you how far the trees can grow. The great thing is, once you're done, you can go into endless mode and you can plant trees. Basically, if I understand it correctly, you can create your own beautiful island with all your hard-earned meditative trees. Uh, Dizzy says, I unlocked the Aurora, but haven't seen it yet because it is still day on my island. Oh, here we go. Chris shares, so guys, I'm considering adding an unlock where you plant an actual tree once you reach a specific level. Wait, you, what, what does that mean, an actual tree? Like a real life tree? Oh, or you mean on this island? In plain. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. That, that sounds amazing. Why not? <laughs> uh, it would be awesome. Anyway. That concludes our meditation together in playing. You've been watching and you enjoyed this. Make sure to uh, follow us because we do this every week. And, you know, every week something new is going to come up. Uh, the trees will grow further. New things will be added to the island. And in the end, we'll be able to do endless mode, which means... Uh, we're gonna populate our own island. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you all for joining. I wish you all a very good day, depending on where you are, evening or day. You know, anything is possible. And if you want to talk further about meditation, just join our Discord. The link is in the Twitch panels. And you can join our community. We're friendly. We, we don't bite. And you can ask any questions. There might be people who know more. And some who know less. It doesn't matter. Just ask your questions. Uh, it's all about your path. And how you can, you know, work with what you have. Alright. Thank you. Bye-bye.